Thank you for watching another Mingo Voice tutorial. Today we'll be discussing how to create and manage a switchboard. Now, a switchboard can be found in your left navigation. We have a quick link switchboard here, as well as since it's an extension, it's also found under extensions. Now, a switchboard is different from a line in the fact that it can perform multiple actions, whereas a line or a ring group performs one action. It rings that extension or rings a group of extensions and then hangs up. So let's go in and create a new switchboard. Today we're going to create a cells switchboard. So I'm going to name it cells switchboard, and we have I'm going to create 1,000, and then we're going to admit it from our directory. I don't want it to show up anywhere. All right. And once we do that, we can go ahead and launch our switchboard. All right. Now that we're in a switchboard we have what we call our canvas. This canvas allows us to really perform any operations we want and this is really the power of Mango Voice. We can create any objects and put them in any combination to really create anything we could almost think of. Now in here the canvas grows forever. Now it is recommended once it gets too large to jump to another switchboard or also called dial plan by other PBXs um, and to declutter your your canvas and I'll, we'll go ahead and show that here in just a, in a little bit alright we have these objects on top that we're able to pull down and use in any combination and we'll go over each one also we have our start we're able to start the logic so let's go over in each one and talk about it so the first one we have is transfer and continue. Transfer and continue differs from transfer in the fact, let's say we're going to re, uh, dial our ring group. We'll ring our ring group for 30 seconds. After that, we'll perform another action where if we just transfer the call to a ring group or let's say a sales rep is going to call that sales and transfer indefinitely until their voicemail picks up or they have another option selected. All right. We then also have what we call an auto attendant that we'll go into a little bit more detail when we actually create our uh, switchboard today. We have an external number. This allows us to dial outside of our phone system such as a cell phone or another landline. This can be useful for maybe after our sales or calling a sales rep. Um, there's a lot of functions. This is the timeout for it. This pass-through caller ID allows us to pass through the original caller's ID to the person that we're forwarding the calls to so they can see who's calling. Or some people also like to pass through one of our business numbers so that whoever we're forwarding the calls to can see that it's coming from the business and know it's a business call. All right. We also have lead voicemail. This allows us to select which voicemail to send it to, as well as select what voicemail greeting they get. To learn more on this, please go to our voicemail tutorial. Just in basics, this allows us to, for example, if you call cells directly and want to get Bobby, this is his voicemail, Bobby would say thanks for calling Bobby's voicemail, please leave me a message. Where if we want our main sales line to also go to Bobby's voicemail, but don't want that greeting, we can select greeting two. And this would then come and say, thanks for calling sales. Please leave your name and number and we'll call you right back. Allow Bobby to check it off from one voicemail, but have multiple greetings to that voicemail. Receive a fax. I have not created any virtual faxes in this PBX, um, but go and look at our faxing tutorial for more information. But this will allow us in the dial plan to create a fax or to send a to receive a fax. Sorry. Schedule. Schedule we'll, we'll be using here in just a second. Allows us to create a schedule and based on where open or close, perform certain actions. This all allows us the wait object allows us to wait a certain amount of time and it'll just ring if you want to delay before performing the next action. Hang up is pretty useful in an auto attendant such as you hit an invalid code um, or or even on timeout to maybe hang up. 
jump to dial plan, like we've talked about, once your switchboard gets too large, you're able to then jump to another switchboard. For example, let's say you have your main company switchboard, but then your sales can, department can be pretty complicated as well as your support department. So maybe you can put all your cells into one switchboard and all your support into another switchboard. It allows you to clean up your switchboards and just hand off to another switchboard. Conference rooms. In this tutorial, we haven't created any conference rooms. Please see our conferencing tutorial for more information. But that is how to send one to a conference room. As well as our call queues. Please see our call queue tutorial for more information on our call queues. But one has not been set up in this tutorial. All right, so let's start a basic switchboard. So what I want to do is I want to set up a basic schedule. We're going to start here, and we're going to drag and drop them. Let's clean this up just a little bit here. All right. So if you notice, we have our drag and our drop icons. We're able to drag and drop to any other object. For example, we can then grab our drop icon and move it to any other drop icon and reconnect them or move them back. And once the two objects are linked, it allows us to move them anywhere on the screen. All right. It also we can also delete any association or re-add them. All right. And this is really another powerful thing about Mango Voice. Anytime you have an open circle to a closed circle, you can connect these in any order, and however you design this, the call flow will happen that way. So let's go from start to schedule. And we have our office hours. All right, so when we're open, let's ring our sales group. Let me clear this out a little bit. So when we're open, let's ring our sales group for 30 seconds. If they don't answer, let's send it to an auto attendant. We'll move that here. Let's move this down. Let's clear this out. All right. So I want to drag and drop once again. And then I already have a pre-recorded sound clip. For more information on how to record a sound clip, please see our sound clip recording tutorial. I've recorded one that basically says, thanks for calling for Sales, please stay on the line for support press one, for billing press two. So let's go ahead and design that now. So for support press one, for billing press two. All right. Now let's go and build that. So I put this here. So we said for support press one, for billing. Press 2, billing is Mary. All right, or please stay on the line for cells. All right, so to accomplish that, we just go to our timeout. And we move it here, and we'll put it to our cell ring group again. All right, and we'll turn down that so they're not waiting a long time to five seconds. And if they hit an invalid option, we'll have it go to our cells department. You could also have it go to hang up or any other function as well. Our repeat times. Um, in this case, we're not. We're just going to, if it's invalid, we'll have it go directly to our ring group. But you can have how many times they can hit invalid keys before doing that. Allow extension dialing allows us to say in our audio dialog, if you know your party extension, you may dial it now. Um, you have to make sure you say that in your sound clip for them to know that. One of the other cool options about this is you're able to add hidden options. All you have to do is record your, your greeting, but not say the extension. For example, let's say I have my sales reps that need to call in to the direct sales manager and want to bypass anything. So I can point them to Johnny, our sales manager, but not say that in the greeting. It's a hidden option, seven. All right, now continuing back up here. So if they stay on the line or press any other key, It'll go to our ring group for another, our sales ring group for another 30 seconds. Then go down to our voicemail with sales. And we want to use our system greeting, not just personal. So we use option two. As well as if we're closed, 
let's put it direct to voicemail as well. All right, that is our basic um, switchboard setup. Let's then go and hit save, confirm that. Now when we go back, now that that is created, let's go and apply our changes. Thank you.